Okay, in this lecture, I am going to prove that Fermi function is symmetrical at t greater than 0 Kelvin. For this, I am going to consider two energy levels. One energy level is above EF by an amount delta E and another energy level below EF by an amount delta E. In the last lecture, I have shown you the conduction band in the semiconductor. Okay, this is the conduction band in the semiconductor. Now I am going to consider in this case the energy level above EF by an amount delta E that is EF plus delta E. And then I am going to consider another energy level below EF by an amount delta E. So this is EF minus delta E. And going to prove that probability of non-occupancy of this energy level is equals to probability of occupancy. And that will prove that Fermi function is symmetrical at temperature greater than 0 Kelvin. So let us first consider energy level. E above EF by an amount delta E. That is E is equals to EF plus delta E. Let us say that that energy level is E1. So E1 is equals to EF plus delta E. And let's find the probability of occupancy of this energy level for conductor above 0 Kelvin. So probability of occupancy is given by the Fermi function. So F of E1 f of E1 is equals to 1 upon 1 plus E raised to E1 plus delta E upon Kt. This is the probability function for energy state E1 which is above EF by an amount delta E. Let us substitute the value of E1. So 1 upon 1 plus E raised to this E1 is nothing but EF plus delta E. Minus EF upon KT. We have just replaced E1 with EF plus delta E. Here EF will cancel and we get 1 upon 1 plus E raised to delta E upon kt. This is f of e1. That is the probability of occupancy of energy level above ef by an amount delta e. Let's say this is equation 1. Now consider energy level let's say e2. You can say E1, you can say E2. I am saying this energy level is E2. Such that energy level E2 below EF by an amount delta E. That is, this E2 is equals to this uh, EF minus delta E. 
then earlier it was occupied now we will find here probability of non occupancy probability of let's say probability that a2 is not occupied by charge carry that is we are going to find 1 minus f of e2 1 minus f of e2 is non occupancy probability of non occupancy and that is equals to 1 minus we know that this f of e2 is nothing but 1 plus e raised to e2 minus ef upon kt let us simplify this by taking the lcm 1 plus e raised to e2 minus ef by kt so that is our lcm we get then 1 plus e raised to e2 minus ef by kt minus 1 Minus this one divide by one plus e raised to e two minus e f by k t. So this one cancels with this one, and what we get is e raised to e two minus e f by k t. Divided by one plus e raised to e two minus e f by k t. To simplify it, let us divide denominator and numerator, both the terms, by quantity e raised to e two minus e f by k t. Let us divide. numerator and denominator by e raised to e2 minus ef upon kt so this quantity divided by the same quantity we get one here then this one divided by this We get one upon e raised to e two minus e f by k t. Then this quantity divided by this quantity, we get one. So that is plus one. This I can further simplify and write as one upon. One plus I will take this term up, so that would be e raised to minus of e two minus e f by k t. Now here substitute substitute e two is equals to e f minus delta i. So one upon one plus e raised to minus of e f minus delta e plus e f by k t. So this e f cancel with this e f, and what we get is one upon one plus e raised to delta e by k t. And this is equation two. See, let's see the equation one. Equation one is f of e one. That is the probability of energy level e one above e f by an amount delta 
E is occupied is given by this equation. Similarly, probability of energy level below here by an amount delta E, that probability is given by this equation. So in this case, equation 1 is equal to equation 2. That is, f of E1 is equal to 1 minus f of e, E2. So probability of occupancy of energy level above EF by an amount delta E is equals to probability of non-occupancy of energy level below EF by an amount delta E. So all the probability of occupancy is equal to probability of non-occupancy. So we can say that Fermi function is symmetrical at T greater than 0 Kelvin for the conductor.